Hello, and let's win some chemistry. We're gonna go over the solubility guidelines today. It teaches you, and it helps you understand what dissolves and what does not dissolve in water. Rule one, all common salts of group 1A and ammonium ions are soluble. So you've got alkali metals and halogens, and any combination from those two families will dissolve in water. I listed a few examples. NaCl is on that list. Rule two, all common acetates and nitrates are soluble. This one's really straightforward. So anytime you have acetate or nitrate in your compound, they will dissolve in water. Rule three, all binary compounds with 7A are soluble except for mercury, silver, and lead. So there's some overlap with this rule. So I have the halogens again. Anything combined with the halogen will dissolve except for silver, mercury, and lead, which I boxed in black. Rule four, all sulfates are soluble except those of barium, strontium, lead, calcium, silver, and mercury. Okay, so anything with sulfate will dissolve unless it's combined with something that I boxed there in black, so those six elements. So again, just read them off on rule four again. Rule five, Carbonates, hydroxides, oxides, sulfides, and phosphates are all insoluble. So it's interesting to note how insoluble products play a role in your kidneys. Your kidneys are designed to filter your blood and then it passes metabolites and waste products to your urine. However, sometimes you get insoluble products called kidney stones that build up in your kidneys causing severe pain. And this is a result of like poor diet a diet that's high in like oxalates and phosphates like processed meats and just overall just eating bad stuff will give you kidney stones. Your teeth is made up of calcium phosphate that's the mineral that gets deposited in your enamel that's a good thing so then your teeth don't dissolve. Next up you have rocks these don't dissolve in water because they're made of insoluble minerals like iron hydroxide for example. And last but not least, you have highway paint, which is made of lead chromate and lead iodide, yellow pigment that does not dissolve, and it's weatherproof and weather resistant. Thanks for listening to Wind Chemistry. This was part one of solubility. Make sure you check out part two.